So we're, um, we already made the mold uh, for you to have um, um, the leather ready for your leather bracelet. And we already punched out the holes that we're gonna be braiding. These two holes over here are going to be for your, um, for how you're going to end up closing uh, your leather uh, bracelet. So this leather bracelet is gonna go around your wrist. You wanna make sure you get the right size that you know maybe it um, encloses most of your wrist, okay? And you have a choice as to whether you want this to be the outer part or this to be the outer part of your, of your bracelet. You decide, okay? The nice thing about using this part for your inner part is that this is uh, wipeable more than this would be. And this side, the uh, suede part, absorbs your sweat more. Uh, though there are other options for uh, doing the final uh, face of this leather bracelet. So you want to cut your string eight times the length of the area that you're gonna be braiding. And so you don't wanna be so exact, but you wanna be close to exact. So we're gonna count it uh, eight times the length, okay? So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times the length, okay? Also, what you want for your leather lace tips uh, is that you want them to be pointy, uh, slender than the rest of your leather lace. So you're gonna clip them in this manner, like an arrow tip, and that's so that the, to help the leather lace enter the holes faster, and you don't have to struggle, because this leather lace is going to go inside these holes two times, okay? You could also use a needle, but, mm, that would take a little bit longer maybe, or maybe not. It's also an option for you to get this leather lace through a needle hole, all right? Um, so now that you have your leather and your lace ready, cut the size that you want, you want to start uh, putting your leather lace through these two holes in this manner, and you want to balance them out, uh, have them be the same length. Um, and so you Get them together like this and then pull so that it's like tying your shoelaces. You don't want one side of the leather lay of, of your shoelace to be longer than the other one. Okay. The other thing that you have to be mindful of is for as you're doing your braiding, you don't want your your lace to twist in that in this manner at, at no point. So that's what you're gonna be really mindful of. Keeping your leather nice and straight, always having the same side of your leather lace face outward and inward, okay? So now that you have this, you begin your braiding and you bring your left side across to your, I'm sorry, your right side across to your left side. And then you pull. And again, you wanna get rid of any twisting that is taking place. Once you do your right side across to your left, you do the same with your left side across to your right side from the top. And get rid of any twisting that's taking place. So you have an X, right? And this is how the back of your bracelet looks. Now, what you want to do is you want to bring your right hand side leather lace over through this hole same one that you started out with, and you want to pass it through. You just have to be a little patient in getting the lace through the hole. And you're mindful for your leather not to twist. And it's gonna go look like this. And then you go to your other side, and you get your leather lace to go through the hole. Pull it out, and again, mindful that you're not twisting your leather lace. And that's how it's gonna look. There's no leather lace twisting here, no leather lace twisting on this side either. You want for your lacing or braiding to be nice and tight, but not too tight that it's gonna shrivel up, and not too loose that any hook 
can quickly latch onto your work and then rip it or mess it up, okay? So now what you do is you repeat the process all over again and that's all that there is to this. You always begin on your right hand side or whichever one you began braiding first and that's for consistency and aesthetics. So you're starting the process all over again and you did it with your right hand side, now do it with your left hand side. Again, mindful not to twist your leather. And you go to the back and you repeat the process all over again. Pulling, making sure that you're not twisting your, your lace. Again, these holes are large enough so that you're not gonna struggle too much with getting the leather lace in through the hole, even though you're getting it in through the hole two times. If the holes were smaller, then it would be beneficial to use a needle. Um, but this is good. Working without a needle is also good. So your work is starting to look like this. So as we're as we're continuing our braiding, this is how your work is looking. So these holes are, uh, a, uh, are a, a, this much apart, right? And so your work is looking like this. If these two holes were closer together, there wouldn't be these gaps here, okay? But so it's, it, this looks good too. Okay, so now as you can see, we're almost finishing, right? We're almost coming to the end. And again, look at the back. There's no twisting of the, of the lace. So we're gonna do our final braiding and um, just to see how to finish it off. So when you come to the end, you're gonna double it up even uh, at the end so that it ends up looking your begin like your beginning okay we're gonna double it up so you're coming in through here again being mindful not to twist your leather lace mm. and again being consistent with the right always going in first so here you would think, oh, I'm almost done, but so your threads are still here, uh, or your lace is still in the front, and you wanna do a final lacing or braiding to get your thread onto the other side. And again, there's no twisting of your leather lace. And now, <laughs> Now you have your braiding complete, okay? So what do we do in the end? We can just do a little knot here, but maybe it, you know, it'll be too bulgy. So what you can do instead of knotting it, just to secure that your, that your braiding doesn't become undone, you can tuck the rest of your braiding into the stitching so that it looks like this. Okay, and you know, you can also knot it, but again, you're gonna deal with a little bulge because the leather lace is not very, it's not very thin. So if you do this, you can do it for maybe two or three stitches, and you would bet that it won't become, that your braiding will not become undone that this is going to hold it in place and secure it, okay? And again, you're still being mindful not to twist your, your, your lace too much. And then um, you can also just clip it here, okay? Which is, I guess, what we'll do. And you also wanna clip it in a slanted 
away. So that this is your final, your anterior lacing or your braiding, the braiding of your lace. 